Getting plastic surgery to look like a celebrity? These women did it. Sarah Schmidt really wanted to look like the first daughter. I want to look like Ivanka Trump. I think she's beautiful. I think she's very poised, classy. I like the way that she carries herself. What's not to like? Sarah pursued top-to-bottom cosmetic surgery to look like Ivanka. I love her nose and I love her cheeks. Sarah wanted to address her chin and her stomach. I definitely, definitely want this gone. I see none of this on here, She's nice and flat. And I would also like the little swoop curve right back there. So, not that we can see it on her, but I know she has it, I've looked. Oh! Sarah pre-gamed her surgery with a visit from friends. I'm jealous. Aww. And I'm jealous. <laughs> Cheers to the new me. Woo! Cosmetic surgeon Dr. Franklin Rose marked Sarah, keeping a photo of Ivanka nearby. See how Ivanka has such pretty curves. To achieve her look, Sarah needed a total of nine procedures. A nose job, cheek contouring, lip filler, lipo under her chin, bra fat lipo, lipo on her tummy, hips, and thighs, and a Brazilian butt lift. It took seven hours in surgery. Six weeks later, her friends gathered to witness the new Sarah. Here's the big reveal. And the crowd approves. It's just beautiful, it's so gorgeous. It's just like Ivanka. Who's prettier, Sarah or Ivanka? I say Sarah. <laughs> I absolutely have the Ivanka look I wanted. It wasn't Dr. Rose's first time making someone look like a Trump. A Houston mom wanted to look more like Ivanka's stepmother, Melania. Melania Trump is the most beautiful woman. Interior designer Claudia Sierra wanted to get nine procedures to resemble the first lady. What is there not to like? She's perfect to me. This is the perfect woman. Claudia was to get an eye lift, fat grafts, rhinoplasty, breast implants, a tummy tuck, lipo, and a Brazilian butt lift. Okay. So it's from head to toe. Claudia also got hair extensions and clothes to match Mrs. Trump. This is the little blouse that she wore with the famous bow. On the eve of the surgery, Claudia's friends gathered. I think she's lovely and beautiful already, but I support any decision she makes. Claudia had to assure her sons that it would all be okay. Are you scared for mommy? Uh, a little bit. I'm still gonna have the same eyes and the same voice. On the day of surgery, Dr. Rose gives a preview. We're gonna lipo, lipo, lipo. We'll have a, a nice curvy buttock. We're gonna get you skinny, 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 skinny. We're gonna make a little baby incision right here. And then she's off. <laughs> After nine hours of surgery and weeks of healing, Claudia was ready to show off her new look. I absolutely love my transformation. And what will her friends think? I'm so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready to come out. She had a Texas-sized reveal party. She looks so much like Melania. Dr. Rose was impressed with his own handiwork. I was shocked. I didn't recognize her. I said, is that Melania Trump? I'm so excited. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. But Dr. Rose doesn't just do Trumps. Tanya Ricardo wanted to look like Meghan Markle. She has these great curves. Tanya got eight procedures from Dr. Rose. Those included cheek contouring and filler, lipo under her chin, breast implants, lipo on her tummy, hips and lower back, and a Brazilian butt lift. I'm ready. Three weeks later, she gets some Markle style and then greets her family and friends. She looks prettier. I am extremely happy with my Meghan Markle makeover. Yet there may be a shortcut to getting that Markle sparkle. Are you all set to look like Meghan? Yes, I am. <laughs> Dr. Norman Rowe says Markle's nose has been in demand. Her nose looks wonderful in profile. She's got a very petite, very feminine look to her nose. Karina Catapano went to Dr. Rowe for a Markle schnozzle. He injected fillers to even out everything. Just a little pinch, but after that, I don't feel anything. After 20 minutes, the difference is evident. I love it. I'm so excited. Stephanie Alcala is a registered nurse who wanted to resemble Kim Kardashian from behind. I want the production. Stephanie tried a host of exercises to achieve her goal, but she wanted more. 
so she decided to get butt lip surgery. To prep, she had to load up on fat. Fat is the new gold in plastic surgery. When you're looking here, where is your eye focusing? What do you like? This projection right here. You want to go big? Yes, I want to go big. The plastic surgeon marks the areas on Stephanie where fat will be harvested. I want all this to go here. The procedure takes three hours. Kim, you see this huge swoop. It goes in and comes out, goes in and comes out. Now let me show you over here. It comes in and it goes out. Three weeks later, she was delighted. It is a dream come true. I finally have a Kim K butt. That meant she had to get some new clothes, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you look beautiful. The hips, the curves, the scoop. I feel amazing. Another Kardashian look-alike hit a little closer to home. Karen Houghton is Kris Jenner's sister. In 2016, Karen decided to get plastic surgery so she would look even more like her famous sibling. Certain angles in my face were just not what I wanted. Okay, no one wants a double chin. In other words, she wanted to keep up with the Kardashians. Of course the Kardashians. I mean, everyone wants to look beautiful. During the procedure, Karen was given local anesthesia. The eyes are pretty much done. Okay. It takes five hours to perform the facelift. Turned out great. <laughs> it's me. Don't I look different? Karen certainly looks a lot more like Chris. I look like my beautiful sister Chris, and I never thought I would. This is InsideEdition.com.